is one of the first times I've had to use the switch, switchbacks here at the GTC. Your highway in the sky to the Magic Kingdom. It's busy as heck today. It took me about 30 minutes to get from the TTC here inside the Magic Kingdom. Looks like we got a little concrete update here. They're working on something. I don't know what, but we gotta work on something as well. We gotta find Alexa. We are uh, headed to uh, be our guest. And you know what? This is going to be our last look at Halloween decorations in 2022 because Christmas, November 1st, they will be taking down these Halloween decorations and the Christmas trees, Christmas wreaths, Christmas garland will be up. So this is kind of like our goodbye to Halloween. It's kind of sad, but very happy because of Christmas. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. And look who I ran into. Hello. Are you ready for Are breakfast? You surprised? surprised? Yeah, you ran into me. Oh, so surprised. <laughs> I had no idea this was not planned at all. Alexa, where are we going? Oh. What? She wants to get a picture. Alexa said, pause with the vlog. It's a great welcome to the Magic Kingdom. We haven't had that in a while. Alexa and I are headed to be our guest this morning for breakfast slash lunch at 10.15 in the morning. We're looking at the menu and we're not really seeing breakfast options. It's more like lunch options. So we're kind of going to see if they have like a secret menu for omelets, Mickey waffles, like we kind of saw online. But at the moment, it's really not looking appealing and worth it if you're spending $67 per person and $37 per, per, per kid in the morning. You would expect there to be like a whole breakfast menu, but we're not really seeing that. Well, it makes sense why there was a last minute 10, 15 a.m. reservation. Those people are probably like, what the heck? We want breakfast food. Well, we're gonna go figure it out to see if it's worth it. But first glance, it's just like, what is going on? This is one of my favorite shots in all of the Magic Kingdoms in the worlds, right here. It's beautiful. Let's head this way. This article that I'm reading is back from April, so. I guess I we're gonna update the internet. <laughs> After getting through that rush hour of what we call the TTC, it's, it's relaxing to be in the Magic Kingdom for sure, but it definitely is crowded. I mean, it's Halloween weekend coming up, so I think that has something to do with it as well. With Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique on open again, lots of strollers and ECVs are kind of crowding this area. I did like it when it was closed just because you could free roam this area. There's a lot of strollers. I think it's like over parking from over here as well. Alexa just walking her castle into beasts. I'm in my castle and now I'm ready for lunch at 10 a.m. Or breakfast, apparently. I mean, it better, they better have something. That's what we're here for. We're here to be the guinea pigs to you guys to see if this is worth it. I mean, who wants to have lunch at 10 a.m.? It just is so odd. So what odd. I, what I want to know is if I can get an egg omelet but the appetizers are like a salad and soup. So why would I want soup and a salad before my egg omelet? I don't know. Same. Let's All right, let's check oh, in. Let's look at this menu. Hello. Yeah, I want to Thank you. And in we go. 
They took us with ease this morning. I love this walkover though. Pretty great. Alexa's taking the lead. I'll follow you. Not every often you get to go into this castle. They have this closed up in the morning. You guys don't know what this is. This is the nights. They're sleeping. Oh, it's beautiful. Holy cow, there's like nobody here. If you guys didn't know, those angels up on top, the babies, it's actually Imagineer's kids or the Imagineer themselves when they were a baby. A little fun fact there. And in we go. I believe we're gonna be eating right here. Oh wow. Cool. One more scan of this place. It's so funny how empty it is. It's quiet. We love it. What? So that was back in April, so you'd think they would have it. They don't? I said that was back in April, so you'd think they would still have it. So I did just ask if there's like a secret breakfast menu, however, I don't think it's worth it to get it considering, I just asked, it's kind of like a bounty platter. It's just Mickey waffles with eggs. There's no omelets um, and that's that's about it. The menu is what you get. I don't think it's worth it to get that for breakfast because you're basically paying $67 for what a $20 bounty platter that you can get at a Disney resort. I don't know. Well, Alexa, what do you want to do? Well, I'm going to get the bounty platter because I want dessert or I want breakfast. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess um, Alexa's doing that. I guess it's going to be good to see what it is, but... I don't think it's worth it. I think Alexa's just doing it because I told her I'm paying. <laughs> I feel like if she uh, she got that on her own, she'd be like, no, we're leaving. Because $67 is obviously no joke, but I think I'm gonna get the filet. It's kind of like Steakhouse 71 in a way. You know, you can have a filet for, for breakfast, but we do have bread and butter. Yay. Yum. Yay. So good in the morning. Heck yeah. The bread is warm. I like that. It's good bread. For $67 breakfast. Good bread? Tastes like bread. Be our guest is on your like must do list. You might as well just take like these 10, 15 reservations because there's nobody here. It's absolutely empty. You're gonna have to eat lunch like really early, but if this is what you want to do, just get it over with. Let's do a little quick impromptu tour. We've been here before, but I just want to show you how really empty it indeed is. Three ballrooms, or sorry, three rooms. My least favorite coming here on the right. It's still nice regardless, you know, but everybody wants to be in the ballroom or the, the rose room. Yeah, not busy at all. Tons of empty tables. And then we'll go to the other room. Across the way. Into the darkness we go. There's like four parties in here. See what I mean? In the morning, if you want to come here, it might be the best experience in the morning because it's not as loud. Not many people. I mean, you get your food quick. I'm very interested, though, to see what Alexa's food is going to be and what it's going to taste like. Because it's $67. It's crazy. I mean, speaking of fast, fast food, this might count because that was quick. You can go first. That actually looks pretty good. Nice little salad in the morning. Those pecans? Yeah, I need to get a little bit of everything. Mm. That's really good. How do you feel about eating a salad for breakfast? 
love it. Is it just me, or do I like really wish Disney would just change this to like breakfast or brunch or something? You know, we've got our French onion soup here. Gonna get a nice bowl. Mmm, soup for breakfast, baby. We all know this French onion soup is absolutely delicious, but is it good at 10.30 in the morning? It's not bad. I feel like I can eat cheese any, any time of the day. I'm a really a big sucker for this soup, so so far it's starting out good. Just can't say uh, I would like to have a salad in the morning like Alexa. To each their own, I guess. All right, I've got my bounty platter. Done. <laughs> Description complete. This literally is a bounty platter. But a bounty platter with salad and desserts and this environment. I mean, mine smells good, but I just feel like a bounty platter is just, you know, you could have gotten that at your hotel. You can get cheaper at um, Steakhouse 71. Is it just me or does anybody else wish they had like a breakfast or brunch menu here at Be Your Guest? Alexa seems to be that she's enjoying it because that's what she wanted. The bacon actually does look a little bit better that it comes with Disney. The same with the sausage. However, you know, at like an upscale restaurant like this, you would think they would have something like that. They're a little better too. I just wish they had their old style where you'd get the pastries and stuff. Disney, bring it back. Go. After further review, the bacon is much better and these potatoes are a lot better. There's like peppers in there too. So it is a step up from the bounty platter. Last time I came here, I got the filet. It's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. <laughs> so original, am I right? I don't really mind having this for breakfast. Look at that. The best way I can describe beer guest food is it's like cruise ship food. When you sit down, it's kind of like that quality. Here goes Alexa, cutting into her $50 Mickey waffle. Will it be good? All Mickey waffles. I don't know. I love Mickey waffles, so I have nothing bad to say. As if I was looking for a bad response. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Beast is about to come out. Oh, he like bows at every table. The funny aspect of sitting right here is you get to hear all the parties escorted in. And I think they're lying to say in here because everyone's been saying it. This is where the Beast and Belle had their first dance. The ballroom. All right, Alexa, I feel like everyone's more interested in your review than mine simply because you got a bounty platter. Well, yes, it was basically a bounty platter, but it was a step up. The potatoes were better than what you would get at the resorts. The eggs were a little bit better. Bacon was crispier. Okay. Um, so it's right. a step up. Now, would you get it if you were paying? I would come a little bit later and have lunch. Okay, bet. There's your answer. It might not be worth it for breakfast, although Alexa did have a good take on it. If you kind of want to be in there while nobody's there, come at like 10, 10, 15, because we kind of did have the whole ballroom to ourselves for a little bit, but um, expensive, 155 total for the two of us. Very expensive, very expensive at that. It's a nice place to eat, just, you know, might not be worth it for some of you guys just because of the fact that it's, you know, expensive as heck. You know what makes it worth it? Hmm. The authentic beast signature. Oh yeah, we got that as well. Yeah. Pretty cool. Included. Worth it. I'm really full though, like really full. I think we're headed to Tomorrowland Speedway. We're gonna be able to check some updates on Tron. Sorry, you guys are like dirty right now. There, I think that's better. Change of plans, we're going for the people mover. Speedway is a little bit longer and we're gonna update you guys on Tron. Get a better look obviously on the people mover than the speedway. 
Also, an FYI, if you guys have been following along on my Instagram, I posted, I think, a couple days ago on my stories that the, the train was testing. It was spotted outside of, uh, I don't know where exactly, I just saw it, but I do know that they might be testing that soon. As soon as Toronto opens, the track should be laid and it'll be open. So we're gonna go check all these updates out now. This is the TTA Blue Line, service around tomorrow. Up we go. Please supervise younger beings. Stay clear of the doors, which will open and close automatically. Enjoy your journey. Are you ready? Inside your car. And please supervise younger beings. This is the TTA Blue Line, non-stop service around tomorrow. I'm Morak 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. Dad! 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 Next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Trek. Transfer to Green and Red Line. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? and a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that is a tiny Uh, a couple months ago. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway. Let's see what they've all done. They're currently, oh my gosh, they've gotten a lot done. Holy cow, they've even added the bushes. Whoa, there's no more dirt left in Tron. Look at this. They've paved the concrete. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's so exciting. Maybe you can add trees. Okay. They've gone so far. <laughs> We're making a TikTok. You know what? This video actually might be up when it's like the last day of Halloween. So we're gonna head into the Christmas shop and ring the Christmas bell. Cause Christmas is here. Boom. He's ringing in Christmas too. Let's go see how many days there are until Christmas. No, there's like 50. 55. It smells so good in here, but Alexa was dead on. How did you know that? I'm smart. 60 days. When you guys see this, it will be less. I love this shop. Something about Christmas shopping, I'll tell you that. Oh, Alexa, I forgot your other Christmas gifts at home. My bad. Do you want this? This is from last year. Speaking more of Christmas, we found a shirt for my dad. If you didn't know, my dad's a clown and he loves to wear these types of shirts when he's a clown. It's a good one. <laughs> Attack of the balloons. I've never seen these. These are Star Star Wars Lounge Fly Baby Yoda slash Yoda ears. Wow. These are nice. Is that Lounge Fly? Whatever it is. This is really nice. This Lounge Fly one is nice too. Good quality. Forty bucks though. Sheesh. There's three of them in there. Just chilling. Look at the update of the new Polynesian DVC resort. Not really much, just some groundwork going down. But um, cool that we can actually kind of see it. Last time it was oh, it was too dark to see anything. Ninety-one fifty-nine is the room number. It's time to take a nap. 
Alexa is already taking a nap. I'll see you guys tomorrow. These are some long, exhausting days. So if you guys can do me a favor, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. I need coffee.